All I have to do is pull the camera out and aggravate the snot out of her. Uh, that's an outtake for later. Okay. Why would you go live to clean a cruddy, nasty bilge pump? I'm not live. You said I'm going live. Meaning with the camera. That's another outtake. <laughs> Could you go brush your teeth? I did. You got shit all in your teeth. Um, and action. <laughs> I hope that's, I hope you got that on video. I did. Huh? I did. <laughs> okay. So on the next edition of what? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. What kind of crap broke on my boat? <laughs> today this technically broke yesterday i understand that i'm gonna but it's a video for today what broke on my boat yesterday <laughs> today is young <laughs> stop <laughs> don't speak it $9 is, is um we're not far from a power plant and uh, at one point last night, it was a little rocky, but it was kind of winding down with the evening. We're like, is that the power plant? Is that a helicopter? No, it was a bilge pump running. Which, you know, they run for a minute or so, once, twice a day, depending on what's... Leaking? Leaking, spilled, whatever. <laughs> there's helping and there's what you're oh, doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just quiet. Oh, yeah. So on a catamaran, you've got the hull, and we've got about this much room under the floorboards of most of the hull. Enough room for booze and potatoes. <laughs> Enough room for booze, onions, potatoes, some oranges, a bunch of bins of all kinds of stuff. In the low part, right above the keel, there's a recess part that's about that much, it's about that deep. It's volume of this, and it probably holds eight, ten gallons of water. So that's the low point. That's where water collects. That's where your bilge pump float switch lives. And it's a hus inhospitable environment, which, uh, you know, it's the dirt and anything that falls in your boat collects in the bottom of your bilge. <clears throat> so it's not always clean and you try to wipe it out and keep it clean and whatever Bilge pump was running went and checked the switch. It's simple Floats up switch turns on floats off switch turns off. This one's actually mounted to a Brass Hinge to weight it so it just sits in the bottom because there's not a place in the bottom to mount it. And it's all painted and smooth and and it makes it easy to clean. So on, off, on, off, pretty easy. Unless, you know, gets dislodged. Or and, it's just on. Or it's just on or whatever. So what I found yesterday was the bilge pump switch was off. The pump was running and it, the pump would cycle from running full speed to half speed. And when I went to pick it up, the back part, the switch part, was hot. It was actually really hot. So I turned off the breaker to my bilge pump for overnight. Now, fortunately, I could probably find this in town. I have at least one spare on board. So all I'm doing today is I'm gonna take this off the brass hinge, which is a really fancy mounting plate for it. Mount the replacement on there, put some new quick connect wire connectors on there to make it easy to replace in the future. Shielded spades, these are probably 14 or 16 gauge wires. Um, and I'll be back up and going in, you know, 30 minutes because everything on a boat takes eight to 10 times longer than it should, including this video. I'll come back in a little while. Everybody say hi to Tracy. 
Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. I said that every job on a boat takes longer because all your spare parts are stored in bins and other out of the way cubby places that you have to unload. So we've had to pull our fenders out, uh, toilet paper, and uh, these guys are just pulling stuff out willy nilly because uh, they don't know what they're looking for yet. I uh, will jump back to the action shortly. And I'm back. Thanks to the miracles of time lapse photography, time and space teleportation dinghies to bring you to town to get the part that you really need, uh, I'm back. So I've got the old switch here. I just dismounted the fancy dancy mounting hinge plate. <laughs> And this one's gonna go away. It's not a paid endorsement. RB Marine in Spanish Wells, Eleuthera is very well stocked. And this was only about 20 bucks more than it would have been in the US at West Marine, which is overpriced anyway. Spanish Wells, Yachthaven. Opening up the new one. Looks exactly the same as the old one. So it's got some bare wires that I will have to crimp on. Some quick connects, I'll mount it to the switch. And we'll be off and going pretty quickly. Uh, we, I'll, I'll splice in, uh, I spliced in a little video before this that was us looking for a spare on board. I thought I had one, I had spare bilge pumps and everything else, but not a spare float switch which I'll probably remedy when I get back to the States. You should always wear proper eye protection, which I'm not. And make sure you crimp all your connections. Did not look for a data manufacturer, but I'm sure it was a really old one. May have probably been. Well, let me look real quick. Nope, and this doesn't make a good deal. So we'll be back. Automatic float switch, all clean and shiny, mounted to a dirty, nasty um, brass hinge. And new connectors on the end. I'm ready to install. Let's see if I can get Micah to hold the phone and not cut off my head this time. Every time he films me, I'm like, son, I could tell by the angle of the camera, you're like filming me from here down. That's nope. He's watching the world around him. I, I see your head. Yeah, you can see my head, but not through the <laughs> camera. <laughs> okay. And reaction. Okay, so. Just got to make these electrical connections here. I need to run back upstairs in a minute and grab a couple of zip ties to make sure that everything's in order. But... Zip ties will take the strain relief off. And we're done. Until next time, I'll be looking for whatever breaks in my boat today.